What's up, people? Mr. Octagon here from Octagon Gaming. I've got another prospect spotlight here. Last time we did the French point guard Frank Talikina, and this time we got the 3 and D man from Indiana, OG Anunobi. Anunobi. However, you say it. Uh, someone in my comments told me it's Anunobi. I thought it was Anunobi, but I guess it's Anunobi. We'll hear what Adam Silver says, assuming he's taken, assuming OG's taken in the first round, and see how he says it, so. Maybe that'll help me just a little. So, uh, OG Ananobi. I'm just going to call Ananobi just in case. So, OG Ananobi, he is, he is very talented. But he did have, like, an injury issue or something. I forget it was this year or last year. I think it was this year because Indiana didn't make the tournament. And he's one of their better players. And I believe he's the first non-freshman or international player, Talik in this case. That we've done a prospect spotlight on. I believe he's a sophomore. Even though Josh Jackson is actually 20. I think he might have got held back one year. Because he's, his age is like the age of a sophomore. So he's basically as talented as a sophomore. So maybe Josh Jackson is a little bit misleading. To what you think he really is. But we're not here to talk about Josh Jackson. We're talking about OG and Anobi. Now I really like OG and Anobi. I believe he's arguably the most underrated prospect in this draft class, his stock has like risen like a little bit in the past few weeks. What I mean by a little bit is like three or four picks. So now he's going to be taking out the 10, 11, 12 range. But as a Pistons fan, I would love him. He reminds me so much of KCP. Just I don't think KCP is six foot eight. OG is six foot eight. Want to know if good three and D player was taken in the middle of the first round? This was about this was in the 2011 draft. Yeah, his name is Kawhi Leonard. Do I think OG will ever be that OP? Get it? O O O G O P. No, 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 I don't. But who knows? Anything's possible. So, um, teams he could go to. The earliest I could see him going is ten to the Mavericks. I think he'd be a good. Not the Mavericks. The King. Sorry. I think he'd be a good pick for the Kings because the Kings could pretty much use anything, especially with Rudy Gay being a free agent in the summer. Then uh, they could use a good win player. Buddy Hield's nice, but Buddy Hield can be your two. OG can be your three. Probably De'Aaron Fox can be your one. Your four can be Scal, and your five can be Willie Cauley Stein. So I mean, not all of them are gonna develop, but the Kings might have a solid team. Assuming they take Fox at five and maybe OG at ten. Hornets at eleven, I could really see that. He's a Mike. He also kind of reminds me of Michael K. Gilchrist. Just he's a Michael K. Gilchrist that knows how to shoot because Michael K. Gilchrist is an excellent defender, but he cannot shoot for his life. If you said that you would give me a million dollars if Michael K. Gilchrist would make a free throw, and if not, I would lose twenty dollars. I would consider saying no. That's how bad it is. I I I, I would do it. I I would. But you get you get the point. Michael K. Gilchrist is a very bad. Shooter 12 to the Pistons. Pistons need some shooters. We, we do have a bunch of wings. We have Tobias Harris, Marcus Mars, Stanley Johnson. I don't want to give up on Stanley Johnson. I really like Stanley Johnson. I know he was, didn't have the greatest seasons in his second season, but I really like Stanley Johnson. But maybe move OG to the two. Contavious Call up is going to want a big contract this summer, so I don't know if I'm willing to pay it to him. And we basically get a taller KCP and OG Ananobi. So. If he doesn't go there, uh, the Nuggets at their team. The Nuggets, they have a bunch of young players. Just none of them are like super, becoming superstars except for uh, Jokic. Now, Danilo Gallinari is a free agent in the summer, and he's probably their second best player behind Nikola Jokic. So they could use a three, and OG Ananobi is their guy. I know they just drafted Jamal Murray, as a, he's a shooting guard. Gary Harris, he's a shooting guard. Will Barton, he's a shooting guard. OG Ananobi, he's a shooting guard slash small forward. Now, there are a bunch of hybrid players in this draft, like Josh Jackson, shooting guard slash small forward, but I really see him as a small forward. OG Ananobi, I don't really see him, like, really at either one of those positions. Like, either one would pretty much be equal. If I had to choose one, I'd probably choose small forward because he's six foot eight. I believe he's six eight. So, uh, after that, maybe the Heat. The Heat do have Justice Winslow, but similar to Michael Kugel, Chris, Justice Winslow. Cannot shoot, however. Justice Winslow is a little younger, so I think it'll be more like if it Justice Winslow will become a better shooter than Michael K. Gilchrist. So I can see him going to the Heat, maybe being their two guard, because Deion Waiters is a free agent for summer. At this summer, I know they have Tyler Johnson, but 
Power Johnson isn't a shooting guard on a, like the Warriors or the Cavs. Unless the Cavs had a or Warriors had a bunch of other players, because I think the Cavs would be better if they added Tyler. Uh, my goodness, I think the Cavs would be better if they added Tyler Johnson, because Tyler Johnson I think is better than J.R. Smith, and I do see him taking of a lottery. I don't really see him taken out of a lottery. Maybe the Trailblazers at 15. That'll be a good pick because they have a good one. They have a good two. They can both shoot. Evan Turner is not the answer at small forward. Same with Al Farouk Aminu. This is pretty much the end. But OG Ananobi prospect profile. Peace out. Boom.